Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi. Today we're going to learn linear equations. So, I'm Teacher Hidayah. will teach you about this chapter. Okay, Mathematics Form 1. Right? Okay, so table of content. Last time we did learn about uh, 6.1 subtopic, which is linear equation in one variable. So, today we're going to learn about 6.2 subtopic. Linear equation in two variables. Okay? Right? So... Linear equation in two variables. Okay, so we need to look at the definition first. Alright, so in this case, um, linear equation, uh, we do know that it must have the highest power of 1, yeah? In this case. Alright, so what does it mean by linear equation in two variables? So linear equation, you understand, it, it must have the highest power of 1 variable. And what do you understand about two variables? So this equation should have... Uh, two variables. Okay, so in this case, uh, most of the equation we have x and y, or sometimes we'll do p or q, or etc. As long as we have these two variables. Okay. All right. So we look at the example here. Okay. So I shall make uh, some mistake here. Say whether each of the following is an equation in two variables, uh, not in one variable. Okay, so here two variables. And explain your answer. Okay. Alright, so the first one we do have 5x plus 2 equals to 8. It is a linear equation, but what happened here? Is it has two variables? No, because it's only have uh, x as the variable. Okay, so... This one, no, because it only has one variable. Right, so second one, we have 3x squared plus y equals to 2. It do have two variables, which are x squared and y. But what happened here, do you see the highest power of x? What is the highest power of x? The highest power of x is 2. So that's why, no, because it has the highest power of 2. And the third one, we have uh, 5 5x plus y equals to 3. Here we noted that um, it is a linear equation because it has uh, the variable with highest power of 1, which is only x and y. Both has power 1. And then it do have two variables. So this one, uh, yes. Eh? So you need to change this one with yes. Okay, yes. The highest power is 1 and has two variables, which are x and y. Okay, and lastly, we do have 3xy plus 8 equals to 5x. We have x as the first variable and then xy as the second variable. But what happened? xy is not a, li a linear. Okay. So no term 3xy is not linear. This, yeah? You shall look at your textbook. Okay. Some of the tips that mention xy is not linear. Right. So part 2. Write the linear equation in two variables. Okay. We have two variables. Which so look at the first example, the total price of kilo, a kilo of fish and a kilo of chickens is RM50. Okay, so we take a fish uh, as one variable. Okay, I noted, I note this one as variable X and chicken, I note this one as variable Y. Okay, so total price, we have a kilo of fish, so that means we do have X. Okay, plus because we need the total price of 2 kilo of chicken. So, 2 kilo that means 2 times y which is 2y. Okay, the total price is RM50. So, here we have 50. Okay, as simple as, as that. And then look at the second one. The perimeter of a rectangular that has the length of 2x and width of 3y is 45 cm. So here we have two things. The first we have x. So I note this one as x variable. And the second one we have width. So I note this one as y variable. Alright. So uh, so here the length we have 2x. So just name it as 2x. Oh, I shall draw a, a rectangular first. Eh? Okay. So we do have the length 2x. This is the length. And then we have the width is 3y here. Okay. So we want the perimeter. So that means we need to add all of the circumstances. 
okay we correlate so the first one we have 2x plus 2x plus 3y plus 3y equals to 45 again which is 45 2x plus 2x we have 4x 3x plus uh, sorry 3y plus 3y we have 6y equals to 45 so this is the linear equation that we want from this situation right okay so we move on to the next part so part 3 represent the situation based on the given linear equation so you can do uh, any kind of situation as long as uh, it is satisfies the linear equation eh? so you have the 0.5x plus 1.5y equals to 5 so usually I uh, will say this one 0 0.5 or 0.5 as the cost of the price of anything okay so we look at the answer the cost of a kuih is 50 cents okay that's why i do take this one as 0 0.5 and the cost of the pack of an asilama is 1 ringgit and 50. the total cost for both items is rm5 so the first one we have kuih which is uh, 0 0.5 ringgit x plus uh, y y is the nasi lemak uh, in this case so y is 1.5 5 ringgit yeah this one y so kuih is x okay the total cost so that means we need to add all both of them uh, is 5 okay so i hope you understand this situation all right so part 4 it says it's the time for us to find a possible pair of solutions for linear equations in two variables so there are only two ways uh, to find uh, this possible pair of solution why do we say it is possible pair of solution possible pair of solution it will involve two variables okay which is x and y in this case okay perhaps uh, p or q also can or any um any letters okay as long as you have two variables right so we look at the trial and improvement method and graph method so we will cover about uh, these two um, example okay so we look at the first method okay trial and improvement method all right so okay, what is the difference from the first part 6.1 we do have only one variable so here we have two variables okay so we take the first one so x plus y equals to 5 okay we do first we have x and then we have x plus y equals to 5 okay let's say if we take um, x as 0 so here x plus y that means it will become 0 plus y equals to 5 then you have y equals to 5 straight away okay and then we may try when x equals to 2 3 or 1 or any number Okay, let's say if you want to try um, x equals to 5, let's say. Yeah. So here you have 5 plus y equals to 5. I only want the y. So I don't want the 5. I bring to the other side. So in positive, it will become my minus. So, so here 5, this one 5, minus 5. So y equals to 0. Okay, and then how you write the possible pair solution? Okay, because the name is possible pair solution, so you need to write in coordinate form. So the first key, we have uh, x equal to 0. And the second one we have 5 as y. Okay, and the second possible pair of solution we have x equal to 5, y equal to 0. Okay, you need to write this in coordinate form. Okay, actually you have, uh, you can try as many as possible pair solution. But in this case, I will show only two possible pair of solutions, alright? So, we look at the second one. We do have 3x plus y equals to 8. So, in this case, we do the same thing. So, here we have 3x plus y equals to 8. Okay, let's see if we have x as 0. So, 3 times 0, we get 0. Sorry, yeah. Okay, 3 times 0, we get 0. So, it becomes 0 plus y equals to 8. So, then your y equals to 8 in this case. So, if you take uh, any number, let's say 
x equals to 2 in this case. Eh? So 3 times 2 because of the 3x plus y equals to 8. So 3 times 2 what you get? You will get 6 plus y equals to 8. So we want the y, we don't want 6. 6 is plus. We bring to the other side so it will become my minus. So y equals to 8 minus 6. So y equals to 2. So hence, your possible pair of solution, you need to write in coordinate form. So you have uh, x and y, okay? Possible pair of solution, you need to write like this. Okay, so this one, coordinate. So x, when x is 0, y is 8. And when x is 2, y equals to 2. Okay? Okay, this is uh, the type. The first method, the trial and improvement method. Okay, all right. So how about the second method by using graph? All right. So from uh, okay. So this one you actually uh you need to do a table number, table number. Okay, which consists of values, yeah, of two variables. So here I would like to take uh, the intercept value. So when x equals to 0, you insert into this equation. When x equals to 0, what you get for y? So 0 plus y equals to 5. So definitely your y will be equals to 5 in this case. Okay. And then you try to search for the other intercept. When y equals to 0, what will be the value of x here? So you try. So x plus 0 equals to 5 so definitely x equals to 5 right so after you fill in the uh, table number so you need to plot so when x equal to 0 so this is the x axis when x becomes 0 here here is 0 so here automatically become 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 and etc 7 8 Okay, and the other part we have y axis also. You need to label. Alright, so after that, you need to state when x equals to 0, so y is 5. So x is 0 here. So y is 5. You need to plot the first one. Okay, so this is the first point. Second point, when x equals to 5, y equals to 0. So here. Okay. So after that, you need to draw a line. So you have a line like this. Okay, so what is the possible pair of solution? So possible pair of solution, everything that lies in the line. Okay, everything that lies in the line. So the first one, possible pair of solution we do have. Remember, you need to write in terms of x and y coordinate. So here, the first one, we have x0 y5 so this one first possible solution second one we have one four the third one we have two three the fourth one we have three two and then uh and then the fourth one one two three four five the fifth one we have when x equals to four then y equals to one okay, and last one we do have um when x equals to 5, y equals to 0. So these are all the possible solutions. You can name it more than two pairs of possible solutions. Right? So we move on to the second one. Right? So you do the same thing. Table number. Okay. Find the intercept of each value. Okay. So when x equals to 0, definitely you have y equals to 6. Yeah? When y equals to 0, okay, so you do 3x plus 0 equals to 6, so you only want the x, so x equals to 6 over 3, so x equals to 2. Okay, after that, you need to plot when x equals to 0, y equals to 6, the same approach 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so the first one, when x equals to 0, y equals to 6, so here, you must plot. Okay, and the second one, when x equals to 2, y equals to 0, so here. So after that, you do a line, 
to draw a line so you have line like this okay so this is quite um, complicated okay is lots of the points okay didn't um, connect with uh, the whole number but we do have one here okay this one yeah okay so the first point we do have the possible solution when x equals to 0 y is 6 second one we have at the center when x equals to 1 and y is 3 okay and the last one we do have when x equals to 2 y is 0 so that is the best three possible solutions in this case okay Okay, so the end. I hope you do understand what I'm teaching. Okay, thank you.